So I'm David Serrett from the University of Edinburgh. Um, and what I work on is generally at the moment is development and how the connections grow from the eye to the brain. Now, um, one of the things that is done in this work is that tracer is injected into the brain of the developing mouse and then it transports back to the eye and then we have to dissect out the eyes in order to find out where the tracer has gone. Now the problem is when you're doing that, what you do is you take an eye and you flatten it out and that's very good for analysing under the microscope but the problem is that you don't know where the tracer was that you originally put in, uh, that, that went in. You don't actually know where it was on the intact eye. So what I'm talking about here is uh, work done with um, collaboration with Daniel Lingholm and David Orshaw and Ian Thompson. Uh, Daniel and Ian are in Kings. Um, is to try and reconstruct this and what we do is um, we have a, a sort of virtual method of reconstruction where we mark up where the incisions were and then the algorithm stitches them together and then it morphs them onto um, a, a, an eye-shaped sphere and gradually refines the mapping and then you can actually figure out, do projections of where things were uh, on the actual um, sphere. And one really cool thing is that then we can project, we can imagine what would happen if we projected the eye into visual space. And so here you can see we've put a um, marker into the left and right LGN and then you can see that we've projected the ipsilateral um, marker back onto the visual space here and, you, and when you get the axis of the eye in the right direction then you end up with um, a nice uh, matching up between the, uh, the edges of the ipsilateral connection. So uh, this, uh, the other advantage of this method is that it allows you to compare eyes from different animals and to, um, which is very important when we're looking um, over a developmental time course and we're trying to put together data from, from different animals.